Hey guys, this is Bird from Inside Outline and welcome back to another Cricut video. In today's video, I will be showing you some different fonts that you can use for writing with your Cricut machine. And so at the end of this video, I will have a free Cricut font cheat sheet that you can download from my website insideoutline.com. And I will also be showing you how to download fonts from defunt.com if you have a MacBook computer. If you have a Windows PC, I will have the instructions on how to download fonts from defunt.com in the description down below. So let's jump right into this video. So first what I'll do is to click on the text box and then you can see that the default font for Cricut Design Space is the Cricut Sans font as you can see right here in the top left corner of the screen. And this is actually one of the 14 fonts that I'll be showing you that are free in Cricut Design Space that you can use to write with. So Cricut, the Cricut Sans font is actually one of these fonts, but what we need to do is to change the operation to pen. And as you can see, this right now is that block or that outline or that bubble text, which we do not want, because right now, if the Cricut was to basically write this text, it would be um, an outline of your actual text. So what I'll do is to change the style to writing and now you can see what that looks like. So now you don't have to fill in anything once your Cricut writes it, it, it will look just the way that it does on the screen. So this is one of the fonts and I'll just type that font name in there so we can tell the difference. Move this over on my screen and just make a duplicate, bring this up. And then I'm going to go through some of my other fonts. So what I'll do is to click on the Cricut and then basically what I had to do was to scroll through each one of these fonts until I saw one that was for free and lucky for you I've already done that part for you so you don't have to go and do it yourself um, and one of those fonts that I'm looking for is called BFC Love Quinn and it didn't pop up because I still have on this only current font. So I'm going to turn that off. And now you can see that font right here. And as you can see, it is a free font and it is a single, single layer cutting and writing font. So I will click on this one. And you can see what that looks like. I like that it puts the heart over the eye. So what I'm going to do is to just type that name of that font in here so we can keep track of the different fonts. So that's that one. So I'm going to make a duplicate and move over to the next front. So I'll go up here to fonts. And the next one that I want to show you is called Basecamp. And it is this first one right here. And this is what it looks like. So I'm just going to change the name here. If I can get my text to change. Okay. So that is what the Basecamp font looks like. And then we also have our Cricut Sans front. So I'm going to move this up a little bit more as we continue on looking through these free writing fonts in Cricut Design Space. The next font that I'm going to show you is called Cake Basics. So Cake Basics. And this is what it looks like right here. I'm going to change the name to Cake Basics. And you can see some of these fonts, they primarily look the same um, with some differences, some minor differences on like the uh, serif, sans serif or whatever. So um, here we have four different fonts and I'll just continue to go through. And then you can see all the ones once I'm done and decide for yourself which ones you like the most. And again, I will be showing you four additional fonts that I got from defunt.com that you can use in Cricut Design Space and write with as well. So moving on, I'm going to make a duplicate of that font. And the next one that I'll be typing in is the Cricut Alphabet font. And it is this first one right here. And you can see how that one differs from the others. I'll just make sure to change the name. And I'm actually going to make these fonts just a little bit smaller so I can have room on the screen. Okay, make a duplicate and moving on to the next font. 
It is called DTC Born Maker. That is what that font looks like. I'm gonna zoom in a bit for you. And then I'm going to change the name. See what that looks like. And this font is actually all uppercase. So I'll make a duplicate and just continue on with the other fonts. This next one is called Felix. And I am going to change that name. And you can see what that Felix font looks like. I think my favorite for right now are the Love Quinn font, which is right here, and the Felix font. So I will click duplicate again. And the next font we have is called High Tide. So I will just type that in so you can see what that looks like. Okay, I'm gonna make a duplicate and start putting my additional fonts over on this right side. The next one that I'm going to show you is called Carly. And I'll just type it up first and then come over here and change or search for it. And it is this first one. And that is what it looks like. Now you may be thinking, well, that still looks like bubble letter. Well, this one is intentionally made like that. If I were to change it to cut, you can see what that looks like, or it's actually print and cut now. Um, you can change it to score as well, change it back to pen, and that is what it looks like. So that's Carly. And I'll make a duplicate and continue. This one is called Little White Lies. And I'll go up top to my font and search for that. And you can see what this font looks like. Now, the one thing I don't like about this one is how close the letters are together. Obviously, if you wanted to use this font, you could ungroup these letters and space them out a little bit more, or you could also use the letter spacing tool up here to space out the letters the way that you want them. So moving on. The next font that I want to show you is called Merlot. And I'm gonna come up here and search for that. Okay, I like Merlot, Merlot because it is a script font, even though you may, may or may not be able to uh, read it the way that you want, it, want to. Um, I'm gonna type my name to see what that looks like. I think that looks pretty good. So Merlot is a good font that's already in Cricut Design Space that is free that you can use to write with your Cricut machine. So moving on, the next font is called Quinn Type. So I'm going to come up here and search for it. Quinn Type. And this is what it looks like. Make a duplicate of this one. And the next font that I'm going to type or search for is called Simple Celebrations. I'll go up top and search for Simple. And this is it. You can see what that looks like. I like the Simple Celebrations font because it's pretty neat and clean and it's just straight to the point. made another duplicate and this is actually the last one that's in Cricut Design Space and it's called Telegram Text and I'm going to come up here and search for that and you can see what that looks like it looks like a typewriter type font so these are the 14 different fonts in Cricut Design Space that you can access for free and you can use them to write with your Cricut machine. Now what I'm going to do is to show you some of my favorite fonts from the font.com that you can write with. And then I will show you how to actually download fonts from the font.com. 
for any fonts that you want to use, whether you want to cut with them or whether you want to write with them. So just going to scroll down a little bit. And I'll click on the text tool and I'll type tall films fine and bring it over here. So then I'll come up top and search for that. And it's not popping up and it's not popping up because right now I have my filter set for Cricut. So if I just type on systems, now I can see that font. And again, this is a font that I did download from define.com. That's why it does not show up underneath Cricut. It shows up underneath the system. So I'll click on that font and you can see what that looks like. Make a duplicate and then type my next text, which is Michaelis or Michaelis however you want to pronounce it. And then I'll come back up top and search for that front also. And you can see what that looks like. And that is a script front, which I think is really nice. So I'll make a duplicate and it's down here. So the next text that I'll be showing you how to, the next font that I'll be showing you is called a kaleidoscope. So I'll go up top and search for that. And I do like the kaleidoscope text. I feel like this font mimics handwriting a lot. And that's one of the reasons why I like it. And so then I have one more font that I wanna show you from defont.com. That's great if you need to use your Cricut machine to write with, and it is called Baby Lexi. So I'm going to go up top and search for that font. And that is what it looks like. So those are the 18 total fonts that you can use with your Cricut machine. If you want to write with them, you can use uh, these fonts to write personal greeting cards. You can use them to um, address envelopes if you want to. You can just use them for a variety for a variety of different things. So again, these first 14 fonts right here are from Cricut Design Space and they are completely free. And then these additional four fonts down here are from defont.com. So what I'll do now is to hop over to defont and show you how to download uh, a font from defont.com using a MacBook computer. If you want to know how to download a font from defont.com to a Windows PC, I will have the instructions down below in the description box. So here I am over on defont.com. And as you can see, there are tons of different fonts that are available over here. Um, it says that there are 67,000 fonts of which, you know, 24,000 of them have accents. And it's just a great place to come and get fonts for all of your different Cricut projects. So what I'll do is to just pick one of these fonts on the home screen. These fonts change all the time. As you can see, these are the recently added fonts. Over here, you can see how many downloads total the font has, and then you can also see how many of those fonts were downloaded yesterday. It also tells you if these fonts are for personal use, which many of them are, but if you like to purchase, um, any of these fonts, you can do that. You can donate to the author as well. So what I'm going to do is to click on this download button and I get this pop-up on my screen and I'm just going to save this to my downloads folder on my computer. Then you see this uh, little pop-up down in the bottom left corner. What, I'll, what I will do is to just click on it. And as you can see, this is a zip folder and you can tell that by the .zip. Now, if you have a Windows PC, you might need to right click on the folder to open it and extract all the files. If you have a, when, a MacBook computer, all you have to do is to click on it and it basically unzips the folder for you. So here is the zip folder, as you can see right here. And then this is the unzip folder. So I will double click on this folder. And most often, whenever you download a font file, it will have an OTF file and a TTF file. The TTF stands for true type font. And then the OTF stands for the open type font. Now, what's the difference between those two? I do not personally know. Um, so I'll just click on one of these, double click on it on my MacBook computer, and I'll just bring this down so you can see it. 
Usually right here, I get a preview for what the font looks like before I click install font. So I'm going to try the OTF file to see. That one didn't give me a preview either. Um, but over here on this right side of my finder window, I, I do have a preview of what the font looks like, the uppercase and the lowercase. And sometimes if there are like glyphs or, it, or if there are um, like different characters or swooshes, glyph, glyphs or whatever, you can see those in the preview as well. So what I'm going to do is to click on install font. And this right here is the font that I just downloaded from thefont.com. So I'm going to increase the size so you can see it a little bit better. As you can see, there are some of those uh, special characters and the numbers. You can see the uppercase letters and the lowercase letters as well. So what I'm going to do is to go back over to Cricut Design Space and let's remember the name of this font. It is called Brilliance Signature. So going back over to Cricut Design Space, I am just going to save this file. And I'll just save it as font examples. I'll save it as free font examples and then click save. And the reason I did that is because what I need to do now is to close out of Cricut Design Space. Because if I were to try to search for this font right now, the one that I just downloaded from the font.com, it would not show up. So I'm just going to show you, for example. So I'm going to call it Brilliant Signature. I think that's what it was called. Brilliance Signature. Okay, Brilliance Signature. Okay, so I'm going to search for that to see if it will pop up and it does not. So I'm going to leave this right here, click the save button to save my project. And then I am going to quit Cricut Design Space. And then I am going to open Cricut Design Space back up. So then I will click on my projects, find that project that I was just working on, and then I want to customize it. Okay, so my Cricut Design Space is finally loaded now. So what I'll do is to go over to font and click on that arrow, then I'm going to or search for brilliance. And this is the font right here. And this is what that looks like. Now, again, this font right here is not one of those ones that you can write with. As you can see, um, if you were to try to write with this font, it would put you know, the outline or the Cricut would create the outline of the font and you would have to basically fill it in by hand if you want to. There are also some different ways that you can basically trick your Cricut into filling in the bubble letters for you, but I will save that tutorial for another video. So that was just how you download a font from thefont.com to use it for all of your different projects. So I hope that you enjoyed this Cricut tutorial on 18 different fonts that you can use to write with your Cricut machine. If you would like to get the free PDF file of all of these fonts, be sure to go over to my website insideoutline.com and sign up to my free resource library so that you can download this PDF and many more PDF files for free. If you have any questions about this tutorial, please feel free to leave them down below. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.